In this video, we are doing a little bit of DIY by making this workshop stool. Yep, we're making a workshop kind of little stool. Um, do I know what I'm doing? Not at all. But I did have this just old uh, office desk chair kind of bottom. Um, it was gonna go on the bin, but I thought I'll reuse it and we'll make it into a workshop kind of stool um, to make it nice and easy when we're working on cars and stuff like that. Um, so today we've got, I guess, what do you call this? Just um, cushion stuff. Um, polyester fill they call it this is more so for like pillows and stuff um, it probably would have worked better if we got some foam for the the inside but this is what we're using today so we'll just shove it in hopefully it's nice and even um, and then for the top which will go over all this we've just got this um, I think it's just a vinyl um, kind of piece there it's much bigger than we need so if we screw it up we can have a couple of attempts at it um, and then come to the main kind of wooden bit. This is just something I got at Bunnings. It was like 10, 15 bucks, something like that. Already pre-cut to a circle. So that will fit perfectly onto the base there. So then we'll mount that there, chuck the foam in, chuck that on. And then hopefully we've got an awesome looking workshop stool. So we've got here just the wooden top here and you can probably see um, I've just indicated the little four holes that we needed to slightly drill um, and that is because we're just going to use a screw just with a little washer today. Um, the screw is a little too long so what we'll have to do is just trim the top of it um, and then we'll be able to screw this on to the base. Um, I was thinking about tapping it and using a bolt but the chances of just stripping the wood when you try and tighten it up is um, quite high so we'll just use a screw, uh, just four screws. Um, and because you're sitting on it, the weight's not on the actual thread. The thread and the screws are mainly just holding this in place. Um, so we'll just do that. We'll drill a couple little pilot holes, um, trim the top off this, and then get to bolting this onto the chair legs. We've just finished drilling the pilot holes and also cutting the uh, the screws. Um, so this is all ready to be mounted um, to the bottom of the, the chair legs. But before we do that, um, we're gonna get attempt to do the upholstery part. Um, so we've obviously got the vinyl here and the kind of filler that we're gonna put inside. And this is uh, huge. Like we could probably do four chairs with this. So we're gonna cut one big square. It'll fit um, nice in there and uh, start putting the filler in and then we'll fold it around the other side and I think we'll just start um, stapling um, them on the back and then as we go, we'll probably put some more filler in just so it's nice and even and there's not any you know, bulges. So give that a go and hopefully it turns out somewhat good. <laughs> Thank you. 
the stool is finally complete. Um, you can probably tell by me just spinning it here. Uh, it's not the most even thing around. It does have some bulges. Um, I'll throw in a clip where you can actually see how bad it is or how bad. It's not too bad. It is a workshop stool, which means we're going to be working on cars. It's going to get all oil, cool, and just, you know, all grime and stuff all over it. Probably will rip sooner or later. I don't know. Um, but really happy with it. Really comfy. And uh, yeah, honestly, a lot easier than I thought as well. Um, and for, I think, in total, it cost probably like $40, which wasn't too bad um, in terms of the material, the wood and the filler is about, yeah, $40 here in Australia. Um, you probably could go out and buy a, an actual stool for $40, $50 as well. Um, but it's fun making, you know, DIY and making use of things like your old uh, office chairs. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more content like this. Uh, but we'll see you in the next video.